What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fallout video and Sam bringing you another all working glitches video. It has been about six months since the last one so there's been a few glitches that have came out since then that I've posted so um, a lot of people have been asking to make an updated version and uh, here it is. I'm actually going to have timestamps in the description this time. I always say that but there actually will be timestamps in the description now. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video or find it helpful, make sure you like, subscribe and let's get right into it. Never pay full price for games again guys, use the link in the description to get up to 90% off of all G2A games. Okay, so to organize this video a little bit, I'm going to section off the different glitches and the parts corresponding to what kind of glitch they are, such as XP glitch and things like that, and I will show that on the screen right now. In the description, I will have a timestamp to each category of glitch, and the first category we're going to be starting it off with is duplication glitches, just because the first one I'm going to be showing you is the technique you're going to be using for a lot of glitches in this video, so let's go ahead and get right into the first one. Alright guys, so this first duplication glitch is going to be one of the most important just because you're going to need it for later glitches in the video. So the first thing you want to do is get the material that you do want to duplicate. I chose acid, and now it should be in the junk portion in your pit boy. Once you have located them, go ahead and drop them on the ground. At this point, I would recommend quick saving just in case you mess up the glitch. You don't want to lose all your materials or have to restart all over again. Now that you have dropped it on the ground, go ahead and go into your workshop and hover over the item that you do want to duplicate. This is the difficult part and it is all about timing. Press square and circle on PS4 or X and B on Xbox One. And you want to do this very quickly. So on PS4, you're going to want to press square first and then a minuscule amount of time after you have pressed square, press circle. You will know you have done the glitch right if you see this screen. Go ahead and just press yes to get rid of it. So now that you have done that, you can go ahead and just leave workshop mode. And now when you go over to your workbench, you should have double the amount you just had. So I had over 600. I should have about 1300 acid in my workbench. So as you can see, I have over 1300 acid in my workbench. Go ahead and take it out and then drop it on the ground one more time. And this is just to get rid of its duplicated form. So just go back in the workbench mode and go ahead and just scrap both of them. If you don't want to do that, you can also just pick them up when you're not in workshop mode and it'll actually do the same thing. So now you should only have one stack of the material in your workbench and you can go ahead and do this however many times you want until you're satisfied with the amount you have. Alright guys, so for this next duplication glitch, you are going to need the DLC to get the conveyor belt, but once you have done that, just drop any item you want to on the conveyor belt, and then right as it is going to go into the black, take it out by pressing whatever button you have to pick it up whenever it goes right into the black, and you should have one in your inventory and one in the storage in the conveyor belt. Just go ahead and drop them both on the ground and then pick both of them up, and then you have done the glitch correctly, and you should have a duplicated form of the whatever you duplicated. So for this first XP glitch, you're going to actually have to have the Prid one. And if you do not have the Prid one yet, um, it's unlocked pretty quickly in the story. Um, so it shouldn't take that long to actually unlock it. Plus, I have a video on a glitch where you can actually unlock it early. So once you are actually at the Prid one, just go ahead and go on to the inside part of it and then head up onto the main deck of it where like all the markets and all that type of stuff is because we are going to be meeting someone. And that person that we're going to be meeting is actually Proctor Quinlan. And he is, um, you have to actually go and meet him if you haven't actually talked to him yet. But he is just located down this hallway right here at this little blimp right here on the map. Now, whenever you go and talk to him, you can actually say a few things. But the thing that we are going to be wanting to do with him is actually talk to him about training a Brotherhood Scribe. Now, it's going to be on the left-hand portion. Press square to assist on patrol. And basically what this does is you're going to have to actually train a Brotherhood Scribe to actually start becoming the Brotherhood of Steel. Instead, we're not actually going to be training him. But once you actually do accept the mission, you're going to be getting this little marker thing. And um, it's going to be located about right um, outside where Proctor Ingram is, if you've unlocked that part of the story. But we're not going to be down there. We're going to go actually out on back onto the main deck of the Predwin um, by just actually leaving out this door here. Now, once you are out here, you are going to need a ranged weapon. Now, the best one for this would be some type of sniper rifle or any other weapon like that. You can use an assault rifle, but it's just going to take a lot more time. It's going to be a lot harder to find. Also, when you're out here, I do recommend quick saving just because there is a chance that you're going to have to restart this and because you're actually going to have to be killing this Brotherhood Scribe. 
So um, make sure you are crouched and you are hidden from all the guys up here and then just start shooting at this Brotherhood Scribe. You may have to wait between shots because you will actually get cautioned. But once you kill him, it is going to actually say return to Proctor Quinlan and just head back to his little place here and you go ahead and talk to him. He's going to ask you how the uh, place went. And whenever you were doing that, you're going to say that um, unfortunately they died, but it doesn't really matter. Honestly, he's going to tell you about all this stuff, how she was a good person, all that type of stuff. doesn't really matter. But after you have done all that, he's going to actually give you some bottle caps and some XP. Now, it doesn't look like that much for me, but that's because I'm a super high level, and this is actually really, really good for low-level players. So now let's go ahead and get right into the next glitch. All right, guys, so for this next XP glitch, you will need a robot workbench, but once you have done that, go ahead and just craft yourself a new automatron robot. Go down to Torso, and then select Protectron Torso. Now, just select one of these options right here. It doesn't really matter. I chose Sentry. Just choose whatever one you have unlocked. Now, select Protectron Torso again, and your item that you did make, mine was a Sentry Torso, should be in your inventory now. Once you have done that, leave the workbench and go to any container in your settlement, and go ahead and put all of your junk that is used to create the robots in a container that's not in your workbench, so you won't actually have the materials to craft it in the future. Make sure you still have the robot torso in your inventory when you do that. Make sure you don't accidentally put it in the container. But now you go on ahead and get a companion and make sure they are close to the workbench. Now go up to your companion and interact with him and you want to go and press trade on him. But before you are in the trade screen, you want to press craft on the workbench and then go to the automatron that you created and you should get in this kind of glitched out screen. Go to torso and then go to protectron torso again and go to whatever item that you crafted. Mine was the century torso and you can just spam this pressing X and right on the D-pad and it'll act like you're actually creating the actual mod, but you're not really doing it. So you're saving all the materials. So you're going to be getting a ton of XP every time you actually create it. So you can just keep doing this on and on and on, and then as you can see, when you leave the workbench, you actually will get a bunch of XP. For this next glitch, it's going to be requiring two steps. One is you're going to have to be duplicating a ton of copper. Do that as much as you want, and then you'll have a ton of copper. You're going to need a whole bunch for this, and then once you've done that, go over into your decorations tab, go to statues. Now, there are different statues you can use for this, and if these do not show up for you, um, that's because you do not have the picket fences, magazines, and those can be uh, located at Sodges Ironworks. Look for a different YouTube video. I do not have any videos on that to find them. Um, just go ahead and look it up on Google or something like that. But the statue that we're going to be using is actually this copper little baseball guy holding a baseball bat statue. You can use the other ones. They just are not going to be um, as wise on space because they're super, super big and you can't place as many down. But for this one, if you just keep placing these down, you're going to be getting 150 XP per one. It's kind of different depending on what level you are on. Um... But just keep spamming these down, and you'll actually get a ton of XP for this. This is what I used to level up super, super fast whenever I first started my game. And it worked like a charm until I could find better ones, which I'll be showing later in the video. Now, um, once you have filled your entire base up with this, I would recommend going to one of your bases that is um, not very built on, that has a lot of spades, such as Abernathy Farm or Sanctuary Hills, or any place that's really, really big that you can place a lot of items down without having to actually break anything. But once the size on your base has actually been maxed out, just go ahead and delete all these guys again. Make sure you do not store them to your workbench because whenever you place them back down, you're not going to be getting any XP. So make sure that you are scrapping them. Plus, you're going to be getting some copper back, so you're not going to be having to waste all of your stuff. And just like the other glitch, once you have done everything, just keep rinse and repeating this, doing it as however much you want to for however long you want to until you have reached your desired level or you're tired of doing it. Um, just make sure that you have a lot of space to place your statues and things like that. And this is actually a pretty, pretty good glitch. I actually did do this glitch so much whenever I was a low level. But now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get right on to the next glitch. Next glitch, you're going to be wanting to duplicate a ton of adhesive, cloth, glass, and oil. And you're going to want to make sure that you have the Demolition Expert uh, perk in your Pip-Boy. It doesn't have to be the first one or second one. Just make sure you have it unlocked or else these will not show up for you. Because what we're going to be doing is actually making Molotov cocktails at the chemistry station. Now, once you have duplicated all your stuff using that duplication glitch I showed you in the first part of this video, go into a chemistry station go down to grenade and then you'll see molotov cocktail and just go ahead and start spamming this and making a ton of these to however much you want to it doesn't really matter you can also do this with cryogenic grenades and fragmentation grenades they just require more materials and these are the cheapest ones uh basically that is going to require the least amount of materials plus they give you like i think it's like 10 xp per one and you can actually rank up pretty pretty quickly like this if you do actually have a uh 
low level player and you can just keep doing this however long you want to and it's a pretty pretty good glitch for low level players guys so for this next glitch you're gonna actually have to be friends with the minutemen and have access to the minutemen castle so if you don't know where that is, it's actually located on the very end of the sea right here and basically what you want to do is just go into this little like room right here and then go into the armory now once you're in here you're gonna see a little like orange shelf with a like greenish yellowish box on top of it um, go ahead and go into the box and you'll go ahead and see some flares and some artillery smoke grenades now go ahead and just take those out of the box and then go ahead and just leave the room. Now, we're gonna, you don't have to leave the room completely, but I just want to show up for a little fact right here. Just go to the entrance and then come back through. You don't have to go that far. You can basically do this super fast by just turning around quickly halfway through. But then go ahead and back into it. And as you will see, they'll be right there again. They'll just respawn. And you can go ahead and just keep doing this over and over again until you have the desired amount that you want in your inventory. Now, I'm pretty sure the artillery smoke grenades do not sell for anything at all, but the flares, however, do. Once you do have your desired amount, we're going to be doing the same thing we did in the previous glitch and then going to a vendor um, of your choice. And once again, I chose Diamond City. Now that you're with your vendor, you can go ahead and just find your flares. And as you can see, I have 692 and they do sell for about one bottle cap a piece. So you can get quite a bit of bottle caps from this glitch. Okay, so now that you know how to do the duplication glitch or you just skipped ahead in the video, go ahead into your workshop go over to stores, and then choose the trader you want to do. Now, preferably, you can um, use the weapon trader, which is going to give you the most. It's going to give you 3,000 caps per one if you go to the Emporium one. Or if you don't have enough bottle caps yet, just go to like one of the cheap trader ones. That only costs like 100 bottle caps to start up. But since I have a lot of money, I'm going to go into the weapons Emporium one. Now, for this, we're going to be doing the same technique that we're doing on the normal material. We're going to be going over it, hovering over it, press square and circle super fast, and you'll see a little split screen in between. And whenever it says store weapons emporium in the workshop, you want to go ahead and press yes, just like on the past materials. And now that you will see, you actually have one um, weapon emporium like ready to place down that's not going to charge you at all. And you're going to have one um, that's been scrapped because it thinks that you scrapped it and you got the money for it, even though you really didn't. So the only money that's going to be costing you this is going to be the ones that actually takes to start up the actual glitch. So if you don't have enough, use a trader workshop like I was saying and just kind of build your way up. The trader workshop doesn't really produce that much money in itself, but it's going to help you get to higher workshops. You can do it a lot faster because this weapon's emporium. If you get 3,000 bottle caps each time, it adds up really, really quickly. And it's probably one of the best bottle cap glitches in the game right now. This glitch also works just fine with the normal, like, counter workshops, where they're just, like, not these, but, like, just looks like a counter. Um, works fine with them as well. Now, when I made this glitch a long time ago, I forgot to mention that they're not going to be in your inventory whenever you, like, exit the workshop. And what you got to do is you actually have to go over into your workshop and go over into the miscellaneous tab. And all your bottle caps should be right there waiting for you. The glitch I'm going to be showing you now is actually how you can place wires through walls, and this is really, really common in base building, and I use it all the time. Alright guys, so this glitch is really, really simple, and all you have to do is just go to your workshop, and then go to your wires section. But before I do that, I'm going to be basically making a little sample um, of like how you could use this, so I'm going to put up a concrete wall. Just to give you guys an example of how you could use this because sometimes your wires won't reach far enough and you can use a glitch for that or your wires won't reach around a corner so you can just make it go through the wall. It just makes things look a lot, a lot more neat and um, tidy with you don't have wires going all over the place. Just place any connector where you need it to be and then a power source nearby. Make sure that your connectors are kind of connected to a power source. So as you can see right here, I'm going to place a generator down just for an example. It doesn't have to be this close, but now what you want to do is now that the wire is connected to one of the connectors, you're going to want to go over to the connector that is connected to the power source. So just hover over the wire while also looking at the connector and then press triangle or Y to actually um, go in and make another wire. Now it's gonna glitch out and just go over to the, your next connector and it should just teleport through the wall and just connect to it. And you can also use this if they're like too far apart. You know, sometimes your wires won't stretch that far. You can go on limited distances with this. It's kind of cool. It's a really helpful glitch for building. But just to prove that this does work, I'm gonna be putting something right here that does require power. So once you have done that, just connect the connector that you have through the wall and then place on the power source and it will power it. Our next glitch we have is how to get unlimited settlement size, and this is without using mods. So if you still want to have achievements, um, you don't want to use mods, you can go ahead and do this glitch if you're running out of space. This is what I always used before PS4 had mods. So what you want to do is, as you can see right here, my size is pretty full in my base. And um, But once yours gets full, just go ahead and go to your Pip-Boy. 
go into your inventory and then go to a place in your inventory where you have a whole bunch of items and heavy items and what we're going to be doing is actually dropping these on the ground so as you can see I have a whole bunch of guns here you want to do heavy weapons like fat men and cannons and rocket launchers and stuff like that go ahead and drop all of them that you have onto the ground this also works for armor and other junk like that but if you do small items sometimes you can lose them so I just like to do big ones and do it in an open space just go ahead and drop all of your items on the ground right here as you can see they're all over the place and now just go into your workshop mode and hover over the item and then press uh, circle to actually store them in your workbench do not scrap them you need to store them because if you scrap them you're going to lose them forever and also the glitch will not work so just store all these into your workbench and the game will actually think that you're storing um, actually things to build with so your size is going to go down in your base every time you do this and your size actually does go a considerable amount down every time you do this and if you want to do this enough you can have your size go all the way back down to zero Glitcher Habs had to make a base under the map, actually, which is really, really cool. So to basically do this, all you want to do is just go into your workshop mode, um, go over to the wood portion in your structures, go over to the place where the ladders and things like that are, and then go and build some stairs. So you want to make your stair basically in the ground a little bit, as you can see here, and then place another stair on top of it, and then just go back and then hold X or whatever control you had to select all of them, and then make it go into the ground so the other first stair kind of like disappears into the ground sort of and it's pretty far into the ground because you're going to want to have something to build off of once you're down there so once you've done that just go over to the floors for the wood and then go ahead and select the shack foundation because you're going to want something to like glitch yourself into the floor now this is the tricky part basically just place your shack foundation like about that high in the video and then once you do that press X go over where it would um, normally be to pick it up and then place it back down and you should glitch into the floor a little bit this part is just tricky you just gotta keep doing over and over again until you get it because as you can see you just want to place it where you would normally be and then let go of it and place it back to where it would normally be um, where you're standing at the moment because it's gonna like glitch you into the ground and then once you do that basically just start sprinting towards the ground or at any corner just like sprint around if you can see yourself getting deeper you're probably going the right way it's just tricky you just gotta figure it out on your own I can't really give you a pretty good representation of what you do but that's about the height you wanna do so hopefully that you can figure that out pretty well and it's not really that hard of a glitch to do it's just kinda tricky you just gotta find the right spot but the main tricks I wanna show you are basically you know just move it around for a little bit make sure you do it on like not a slope like I am cause that's gonna make it a little bit harder because it's gonna be uneven ground and then I guess do it near a corner I guess because I feel like that happens um, like I go through more at then um, and then just kind of just sprint at the ground almost it's just just weird you just have to figure it out on yourself it's a really weird glitch but you can if you do it right you're just gonna fall straight through the floor and then fall into some water so here's what's going to look like when you do the glitch right it took me a few tries to do this actually but when you keep just sprinting at the ground like I said you're gonna fall through fall into some water and then this is the part where you're gonna make sure you have a ladder built down. I've already built some stuff under here so I didn't have to worry about it but if you have your ladder built down into the floor as you can see it's going to go through the floor into like the underground part so you have something to build off of once you're down here because you can like connect on another ladder and then place on some like prefabs or anything like that and overall it's a really 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 fun glitch and I use this all the time like I kinda wanna do a video where I'm going to like build a base underground which I think would be really cool because you could make a lot of like cool arenas or things like that or just some type of cool base down here and the possibilities are just pretty much endless and if you do want to actually escape out of here all you gotta do is just find a place where there isn't water and just then just jump off the map and you will spawn back up top on your village I'm going to show you the gameplay here in a second so right here let's say you're done working and things like that basically all you wanna do is just run and jump into like that floor pit and you're gonna fall through and you'll just spawn back up on top of your base and you'll be good guys so this glitch is relatively simple and all you're really going to need is a companion a legendary weapon and a non-legendary weapon as well as a weapons workbench so once you do have the two weapons i'll recommend getting all weapons out of your inventory except for the two you're trying to glitch now go up to your companion and go ahead and trade him the weapon that does not have the legendary effects Once you have done that, this is where the workbench comes into play. Go ahead and command your companion. Go ahead and look at the weapons workbench. Look back, press trade, and press craft before the tr uh, screen comes in to trade with your companion. So you should be in this kind of dual glitch screen. What you want to do now is go ahead and take the weapon that you gave to your companion back and put it into your inventory. And then this is where things get a little bit tricky. Uh, go down to a mod that's not going to cause anything to get rid of so that can be getting rid of a suppressor or a bayonet or anything like that 
and um, this is where it gets kind of tricky. So once you are in this screen, you kind of want to maneuver your little cursor in the background so it's hovering over your legendary weapon. As you can see right now, I'm hovering over the no muzzle mod, but I'm over the suppressed rapid combat rifle, so it wouldn't work. So once you're hovered over both no muzzle and overseer's guardian or your whatever legendary effect you have, go ahead and just press X to go ahead and make the no muzzle mod and then press it again to confirm it. And then now it should say the name of the legendary effect on the weapon that did not previously have a legendary effect. Once you have done this, just keep pressing circle and backing out of all the screens. It may take a little bit, it gets kind of glitchy. But once you have done that, the glitch is pretty much done. You will now have a legendary effect on the gun that you do not previously had one on. Now, before you try to put an effect on two different guns, it will not work and it will actually crash your game. And I can't really find any way to fix that. So I'm sorry about that. It can only work from a combat rifle to a combat rifle or the same pistol to the same pistol. You can't go from a combat rifle to a pistol. But... This glitch is still really, really useful, guys, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alrighty, guys, so all you're going to need for this glitch is a armor workbench and two sets of armor. Now, as you can see right here, I have the marine armor and a heavy trapper armor. So take one of each kind that you're going to need, so I'm doing the chest piece for the marine and the chest piece for the... Uh, trapper armor and also I would recommend taking off all the clothes they have on right now because it just makes your inventory a little more clean now go to your armor workbench and then name it so that your armor that you want to basically be on top uh, make it one period and then name your other armor two periods so as you can see right here I have the marine combat armor on the top and the trapper armor on the bottom now what you want to do is just go ahead and exit the station and then go ahead and quick save just in case you do it wrong. Um, I don't want you losing your armor or anything like that because you will have to scrap it. So next go back into your armor workbench and then hover over the first item at the top with the one period. You're going to want to press scrap and modify at the same exact time. So for PS4 that's going to be square and X at the same time and you should get this little scrap item screen. Once you have done that you want to go ahead and scrap the item. Once you have done that, press right on the D-pad and then go down and basically just modify the uh, piece of armor in however way you want to. Now press back, uh, go to miscellaneous on the other item and then go ahead and just put a modification on that one. And then you can just exit out of all the screens. Now that you have done that, basically you can wear two chest pieces at the same exact time as long as it's the one that you glitched. Um, it basically doesn't register as it's on your person anymore, so you can equip them two at a time. So in case you're needing some more help, press scrap and modify at the same exact time. I recommend using the same exact finger um, because I feel like it just makes the timing easier. Alright, so that is pretty much all the glitches I had to show in this video, guys. I tried to show as many new ones as I could without making this video an hour long. I tried to shorten it down as much as possible, so if you guys did stay to the very end, make sure you comment doohickey. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.